Marines respond to Hurricane Irma. We take a look back at Marine Week Detroit, find out about the Expeditionary Fabrication Facility, and a Marine is inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame, this week on The Core Report. Marines are providing relief to the victims of Hurricane Irma. The 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit aboard the USS Kearsarge reached the U.S. Virgin Islands on September 9th. The area was heavily impacted by the storm, and many buildings, homes, and roads were damaged or destroyed. Marines and sailors with the 26th MU reached Key West aboard the USS Iwo Jima on September 12th. The Marines and sailors came ashore and delivered more than 52,000 pounds of supplies and equipment, including much-needed drinking water. Marine Aerial Refueler Transport Squadron 234 delivered thousands of pounds of food and fuel. They also provided search and rescue operations. Special Purpose Marine Air Ground Task Force 14 provided aviation support on September 13th to aid in relief efforts. Marine Week Detroit was held from September 6th through the 10th. The Marines hosted more than 80 community outreach events in Detroit. The event featured hands-on static displays, live demonstrations, musical performances, and other events to showcase the Corps' history. The Marine Air Ground Task Force demo was the highlight of Marine Week, featuring a live visit forward search and seizure operation in the Detroit River. 3D printing is helping Marines to get back in the fight. Marines with 2nd Maintenance Battalion at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, are working with the Expeditionary Fabrication Facility, or XFAB, to 3D print parts fast. They're researching ways to make stronger parts for future operations. The XFAB is ready to deploy and will make its first appearance at Exercise NATO Tide Sprint in Norfolk, Virginia, later on this year. Lieutenant General Carol Mutter is being inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. She is the first female Marine to reach the rank of a three-star general. Her achievement paved the way for the future of female Marines. Semper Fidelis, ma'am. That's all for this week on The Core Report.